Yep, I forgot the lunch. I went back to heal, but I forgot the crucial bit. Looks like I can sell you more, kid. However, we've run out of stock. Don't worry, though. I'm sure you'll find more secret sauces elsewhere. Are you here to pick up Lisa's lunch? Sure thing! So you're paying for it, right? Darn it, she tricked us. That's cheap. There you go! Bring it back to Lisa, kid! How are you evil? I mean, I'm wearing a dragon skull on my head. That's a thing. Nexamon has pretty strong designs for his first gen. There are a couple of particularly weak ones, but as far as it goes, yeah. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, you know what? Let's actually go off. I wanna, I wanna fight these guys and get the shards. After all this time and all the news, dab da dab da dab da dab da dab da. This second game. I think a lot of them are carry carried over though. I mean, one way or another, the designs are strong. That's all that really matters here. Black Flame, it's a little cheaper. Even if only a little. I wonder if I can get enough golden traps that I never have to fight a tyrant and I just keep catching them. Unless tyrants are not the same thing. Uh, let's see. So what's he got? Now here's the question. Did his Noki level up? It did! Good for him. Uh, let's see. Team. Honnell. If I remember right, Electric is weak to plants and mineral. Do I think I can pull off Bastion? I don't know. But I haven't used him yet. So what's he got? Meteor Strike, Rock Punch. Ooh, Rock Punch is real fast. Wait, deals mineral type damage with a 25% crit rate, but it's only got a 10% crit rate there. What? I am confused. Let's drop a Meteor on him instead. That didn't work. I really like the move speed situation. Because it does, doesn't make it feel like you've got really slow Nexamon. Let's see, are there abilities? Like in Pokemon? Not to my knowledge, no. At least none that I've strictly seen. Oh, right. We want to go down. Alright. I got your lunch, lady. Ooh, nice. You got my lunch. Thanks, buddy. Your food is expensive. So are my Nexo traps, for good reason, though. You'll be capturing Nexomon left and right for sure. You bring me the required elemental shards, of course. Talk to me when you need me to do some crafting for you. Hello, Snad Hamwick. We're here to craft some elemental nexo traps. I can't offer all the elements, but they'll come in handy at anyway. Okay, let's craft. So we can make... Mineral, Electric, Psychic, and Ghost. And this is why I didn't want to sell the shards. Because it seemed like a damn scam. And I was correct. Drop by any time, Snat Hamwick. There we go. Unfortunately, I don't know how many of these I'm actually going to be using after a certain point. But whatever, who cares? Let's, 
let's get out of here. It is finally, it is finally time to maybe go make some progress, kind of, sort of. Because I think I've exhausted all of my alternatives. Let's see. What's it gonna do? Anything else? No, I think we got pretty much everything out of here that we would have possibly wanted. Uh, let's interact with this just in case it lets me warp once I unlock the ability to. I really wish that was actually unlocked from the start. Okay, let's go back to the mainland. And let's also drink some water because I'm actually pretty thirsty. Okay. We're back on track. We beat again, just in time too. My team is fantastic now. Get ready for our rematch, kid. You're going down this time. Nice thing. Bang. Nice weird dumb chocobo. I'd like Dull to actually learn some moves that are not just strictly ghost. I've been beaten by a child. That's outrageous. I should return to Palmyra and find me some legendary monsters. Oh yeah, there are rumors of a super special Nexamon in Palmyra. I don't know much. But maybe the locals can help you out with that. Huh. Okay. So I don't remember right. We want to actually obsess obsessively grab shards, even if we might not necessarily need them. So next up, team. Who do we level? You know what? I want I want Dull to evolve. So let's focus on Dull for a bit, and then we'll switch. Because as soon as we get the evolution, then we can do switch uh, switch exp. He's gotten a lot stronger, has he? <laughs> I feel like this poor guy would just be like, How have you been grinding this much? Do you not take a break? And then I just look at him with the with my dead eyes and the the cat is just like, save me. Alright, we're leveled up. Please be a dark mist, 50% chance to inflict curse. Hell yeah, get out of here, Glare. Hideka. This sucks, gotta train even harder. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Team. Next up. Let's get, let's get Gexamon up. I just want to have a, a team of somewhat primo guys that I can reliably use. Let's see, that's the ghost starter, right? Yes. Half of my team is starters. Uh, actually, no, only two of mine are, no, three of mine are starters. Uh, my... Dull Gexamon and Cascade, and I might switch the grass out, but I think I'm gonna not. Coil is the dumbest goddamn thing. Yeah, Cascade's gonna need levels. Yeah, I was just hoping I could get all of my, uh, my mid-tier ones up to, like, the second evolution. That way, when I switch to them, they kick ass. Hello again, friend. I've been thinking about our last battle. I've improved my ghost type team. Want to test it out again? Just go full starters. I really probably could. It's like the exact same sound effects. That's a new one. 
Oh, well, Gexamon's down. Oh well, Cascade! You can handle the rest of this. Uh... Is water good against mineral? I think so. Yep, looks like it is. Okay. Explosive water? Yeah. Owie? Honel! Honel, you're unstoppable. Alright, that's a decent chunk of EXP for Cascade. Alright, let's go heal up. We'll keep rolling. I guess in retrospect, yeah, let's let's go team dull cores. Bugged me more than but not finding starters in the wild often was exclusive exclusivity for a specific division in the same gen game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, you could only find uh, Caterpie in one and then Weedle in the other? That was always kind of obnoxious. I I would love to see this with multiplayer that is just, like, Let's Go Eevee-style co-op, maybe? But that's the extent of mul the multiplayer I'd want out of Nexamon, and even then, I don't think I care. Uh, let's see. Let's set that as main. We'll just switch as necessary, because Gexamon's about to level up anyway. Anyway, sup, dude? I'm here to buy a silly amount of pie and some other stuff, namely Nexo Traps, as I've burnt through all of them as usual. There we go. All right, next up, strawberry cake. I like eight. One of at least ten of everything. Love my pie. Oh, this is where I got the onigiri from. We're bringing up Monster Hunter stories. I gotta play that at some point. I kept hoping that there would be a console release. But it just never came, so I, get, I guess I'll have to, like, blue stacks it or something. I don't really want to, but... Because it was a 3DS release, and then it went mobile for some reason. But they never felt like, yeah, bring it to any other platform, like the Switch? Because I think that's one of the only, like, major uh, Monster Collection games I've never even seen gameplay of, so I, I have no idea how it even functions. It's released on the Vita. <laughs> hey, hey, Snat Hamwick, remember me? I'm looking for a rematch, punk. I'm gonna get my money back, ha! Huh? Right. Ow. Okay, fine. It's a shame the 3DS from the mobile version never got the 1.2 and 1.3 patches for stories which let you tame new monsters. What? That's dumb. The only Japan gets to tame elder dragons. That's real dumb. Like, maybe, maybe they'll figure it out and bring it over, but, like, 
Capcom Y. That's a cute animation. Let's give it up some serious, like, maple story energy. Boy, kid, careful on the bridge, okay? Guild can't afford to fix it up. All the money goes to Parum's tall, uh, tall walls, I guess. I came all the way from Lataria just to find a specific Nexamon, but I've had no luck at all. Hey, buddy, if you could help me out, I'd be happy to repay you with a very rare item. So, do we have a deal? So he wants Croft. Golden Nexo. Dang. I suppose that'll ha that'll have to keep looking. Thank you anyway, pal. Okay, so we just have to find a city. It seems kind of city-ish. Thank goodness. There you are, Stad Hamwick. Your remarkably impatient friends went on ahead. The capital is to the north. Our guild is the heart of the city. Please don't deviate from our destination, you kids. Really underestimate the predicament of our world. Amelie um, literally just told us not to go there. But sure, what could possibly go wrong? Let's do it. Well. I don't see a storage thing. The Outlands. Looks pretty rad. A lot of side quests here. Oh, we should probably go back and grab the thing to trade the guy. I really wish you could actually trade with people without pulling from your box, but oh well. Or like you could just pull it from your box instead of having having it in your team. Hey, excuse me, are you a guild tamer? Do you have a moment? What's the matter? child from the capital city of Parham some, somehow managed to squeeze out of the city walls. And now she's missing. Whoa, that's a big deal, huh? Yes, right. She could be anywhere in the Outlands. We're asking all adventurers to keep an eye out. I wish I could provide more information, but that's all we have. Alright, maybe we'll find that kid as we travel. I bet there's a quest reward for finding her, Snat Hamwick. R right, but surely rescuing a child is enough reward. Let's get going, Snat Hamwick, before someone beats us to it. Coin, Super Lictor, and dis Destruction Core. Okay. How did I... What do you mean, how did I manage to mess up Snat Hamwick? The game capitalized it wrong, not me. Oh, we did find, find storage. Perfect. Okay, new group. Yes. This is going to be... Okay. I'll just move Bastion over. And who else is it going to move? Because I only want to move over the ones that I actually have an interest in using. Okay, there's the... There's the Cruff. Hugo. Thorn. I really like the fact that there doesn't seem to be a maximum size on a lot of these boxes. Okay. Anybody else here that I'm totally forgetting about maybe wanting to use? I don't remember what Garmin's evolution looks like, but this will do for now. <sighs> 94, 95, 96 is the best spot to play. Uh, alright, I think I just figured out the extinction part of this game's title. <laughs> Oh, man. There's a cruff. There's a cruff. Golden exo trap, too. Dang. 
Whew, thank you, Snad Hamlet. I can't believe that you'd actually found that Nexomon. You're pretty good at this, aren't you? Uh, you have this protagonist aura. The fact that I say nothing. Always. Anyway, I really, really want that, uh... The guild official slash, like, orphanage lady to recognize the fact that I am absolutely just going elsewhere constantly and... I'm super terrible about sticking with the group. Okay. So the question is, guys, do we keep going with Honnell, or do we switch in Kugo or Thorn? Or Snushbale? Because I've got three plant types that I actually would not mind evolving. I like Honnell because Honnell is ridiculous. Kugo gets a stick and Thorn just looks like a cool... cool thing. I guess I should put together a poll. I will do that. Especially because I need to pee, and polls are a good time for pee time. So I see that people rigged this vote with points, and Kugo won with 23. Alright, Kugo it is. Because yeah, I like I like Honnell. Honnell's pretty good. Oh shoot. Am I not actually clicked onto the game? I can fix that. Where's my mouse? There we go. Alright, Kugo it is. Goodbye, Honnell. Yeah, how much to rig it to Agumon? <laughs> hey, Rito. How's life? Unfortunately, no Agumon until they come up with Digimon Survive, but I am very much looking forward to that whenever that's going to be at some point. Let's take a look at Kugo. Oh, wrong one. Database. Let's see, show scene only. I've caught almost everything. Seeky, mega rare, perfect. Good attack, low stamina, decent defense and speed. Yeah, chances are we'll still use a lot of them, but still. Only voted once, voting another 22 times seemed like a uh, bad idea. Look, I my elections are as corrupt as hell because it's using imaginary points and the rewards don't matter. And the things that select are selected don't matter? I don't know. Ever heard about elemental whistles, hmm? Whistles increase your capture chance when facing Nexomon of a certain type, and you can even stack the whistles. If you're interested, wouldn't mind selling you a water type one. Hell yeah, give me that give me that shit. Right now into my face. Perfect. Single whistle won't help much, but as you travel, you'll probably collect quite a few of them. Are there also dragon whistles specifically for those beasts in the Drake Isles? Oh, fun. Digimon Survive, is that like Metal Gear Survive? I've never played that one. I actually really want to. Just because. Hey there, fight me. What? Why? We're kill tamers. We gotta make sure that our members are in shape. Show me what you got, kid. Oh, he's got a... That's cheating. Ow! That's a tanky-ass Dishala. And it's gone. Gum. What is it? Normal type? Uh. Oh, back to dull, uh, dull for the time being. Unfortunately, it's going to take a little while to catch up here. And Pont uses invisibility. Yeah, it's a weird bug that's been happening all day, where effectively, sometimes enemies just have invisible Nexamon, and I'm not really sure why. Seeing as I'm going to be doing this, we might as well... Stamina Drain. That's a new one. I haven't seen that before. Okay, that probably wasn't worth the XP. Huh, fair enough. You're certainly fit to be a guild tamer. Alright, carry on with your business, Snad Hamwick. 
I just like, every time they say it, it feels like a slur. I love it, but at the same time... Oh, I think her chance if you want to see her, you'll be hitting Frozen Tundra. Did you know your next one might unexpectedly get a Frozen status effect over there? You'll need lots of hand for his luck with you. I carry a, I'm carrying a little extra. Sure. You're going to be so glad that you got some anniversaries in your inventory. But still, what's that over there? The weather isn't the only danger in the Frozen Tundra. A game called Necromon. Oh, onion. Oh, that's cute. What is what is plant weak against? Plant is weak against. Ah, shit. <laughs> I think plant is the only thing that I don't have anything I'm strong with because I don't have any wind types. Though I might get a wind type at some point. Well, all right. What is plant good against? Plant is good against water and electric. And it's not very good against fire, wind, plants. It's also good against psychic. Good to know. Well, I just I'll send in dull. Guess I could have sent in sent in Bastion. I could catch it, but I'm in. I'm suffering from extreme apathy right now. Alright, this fake mon sold me. It's pretty dang good! Like, I, I I think you and Grace would actually enjoy this one thoroughly. Ooh, ouch. Uh, let's see, what's got some speed? Torrent? Torrent. Let's see, smoke screen. Don't think I care. Let's go back and heal. Uh, let's see. I will admit, to some degree, I'm using a lot of, uh... I'm not gonna call them the best, but, like, I went out of my way to find, uh, my peak team early. So there's a, there's an, a very real possibility that, like, uh, a, a lot of, eesh. This, this hurts. Uh, let's see. There's a real possibility it's going to take a while to get, like, a really cool team look uh, team going, but it's worth it once you get there. The plot's also pretty good. Like, quite literally, my actions so far have been, like, morally ambiguous at best, and I love it. I literally beat people up so they would let me go into a city. Normally, like... Oh, what's a good example? Like... For those of you that played, uh, you know, Gen 1 Pokemon, you know how there were the, uh, the certain Officer Jennies that would be like, you can't go in the city because of road, road reconstruction or something like that. And you could just be like, you can't stop me. And you literally just fight your way in. And they're like, wait, what? Why? And then you fight them. <laughs> you literally just fight them then and there. Um, beat them up and then enter the city. And it's so good. Like, I've never seen anyone do that before, and it's it's so, like, I should not be allowed to do the things that I just did, but I did, and it's great. How did those businesses survive without intercity traffic? I had Pokemon economics are insane. Alright, I think we're gonna spend a little bit of time leveling as I have a very lopsided team with a lot of weaklings. Oh, it's Mirren. Uh, hey. Let's see how much damage I do with this. Please don't kill it. No, that's not great. Let's do a scratch. It's actually one of the starters. I did not expect to find the wind starter here, but here we are. What's it like eating? If this is... Oh. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We've, we've probably got the... No? Huh. Is the food effects just gone up somehow?
So, a couple of things that I, I really appreciate about this, apart from the fact that I just literally beat my way into the city, uh, it tells you your chances of catching a Pokemon right from the get-go, Pokemon Nexamon, and you can modify it by feeding them, which I feel like is just one of the smartest possible changes they could have made to the Pokemon formula. Oh, you made a trade for Secret Sauce. Oh, so Secret Sauce just applies to all food. I thought Secret Sauce was a rare thing. Like the Golden Berry. A wild Nexamon that inhabits prairies and mountain ranges. It uses entangled tails to read the wind while hunting. Alright, so what do we what do we nickname this thing? Okay, so I'm gonna name it Rito, and then we're gonna chuck it in the box. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what is this thing? What the hell? I... I don't even know how to react to this creature. Well, it's dead now. It's a frorb. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep leveling up Cascade. The EXP is pretty good here. And just a couple levels on, on them will make Cascade capable of soloing most things. I guess we could just switch instead of going back to heal every single... Ouch. Yeah, let's switch to Bastion here. Is it just me or is Churns, like, incredibly tough? Yeah, it's got, like, 41 HP, which is way high higher Oh, you know what? I bet Churns doesn't evolve. Or if it only... it Maybe it only evolves once, which is why it's extra tough. That seems like the case. Well then, uh, Kugo, you need some EXP. May I kill it? Uh, let's see, 25% crit chance rate? Yeah, there we go. That's some good EXP. Let me go back up and heal. Because, ouch. Let's see. Okay, what I'd like to do... ...is actually get to adventuring. But I want to be... I want to be strong. And that takes some effort. We'll start ranging out a little bit. Because at this point, I could actually do some of my grinding off-camera when I render videos later tonight. Oh, let's see, I did 14 to him. Does this do more? No. Go for the crit? No, or we just kill him. Damage is random. Slightly? Slightly random. Oh, well. So, excuse me, buddy. There's a bunch of wild Nexamon here. Way more than I expected. I already ran out of Nexa traps. Ain't going back to the city. No way. I'll pay really well for a few traps if you got any. Hell yeah, capitalism. Thank you for the Nexa traps, Snad Hanwick. You can never have enough. Ha! It's never a bad idea to stock up while you're in the city. Super revive. Hello! My, my, aren't you exploring a little too far from the beautifu beautiful sa safety of Parham, dear? No playground for a small fry. Why don't you turn back now, hmm? Being a tamer doesn't suit you. A bit of a tragedy. Oh. Double tragedy. Do we just tank it? I hope to. Frustratingly enough, this is an evolved version. Which means it's going to be good EXP if I can live through this. Ow. Holy shit, look at that thing. That's a cool, cool looking monster. Hmm. 
No. I was just mashing A like a fool. Well. Bye. What's up, Bastion? I guess you get the EXP from this. Never mind. What did what is what is your plan? Okay. Wind is actually good against mineral here. Not very good against Gexamon. Unfortunately, Gexamon is still kind of on the weak side. Very flimsy. What? Huh. I just... I don't even know what's going on anymore. It's just... They apparently have... Wait. I feel like they had more Nexamon than just four. I, I don't know. They've just been hot swapping so much and losing losing the script. Swapping around Nexamon so they get the EXP. Ah. God damn it. <laughs> what is he doing? What is your plan? He's just switching a little bit too much there. Hey, does Gexamon evolve? Great electric type damage. Speed 44, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Twin Electrode. I like the crit chance. But I don't care that much. The flat damage is more reliable. And it does evolve. Time for this little gecko to have weird eyes. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm having second thoughts about... Gexamon. He looks a little touchy. What? How could a nobody beat me like that? Get, get out of my face. I may be weaker than you, but you'll soon see that the Outlands are, un un are unforgiving to everyone. I mean, I guess? Yeah, let's, uh, let's maybe consider switching him out. Let's go get that wind. Let's go get that wind critter. Because I think I liked his base form. It was kind of cute. His evolved form might give me nightmares. And then we'll have our full proper team. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Cascade's still on top. Let's fight everybody as we go by. Uh, 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 you there. Where do you think you're going, pal? This is my special spot to catch and trade Nexamon. There's no room for both of us. Go find your own. Wow. Eesh. These mischances are painful. Ow. Wait, how many does she have? She's got three. Let's just switch to Dull. Let Dull take the rest of them. Okay. I guess I'll switch to Ubis. Because I haven't been getting Ubis any EXP here. Bye. There we go. That's some good EXP. Eh, some. Yuck. Okay. I'll let you use my special spot for a limited time only. Don't tell anyone about it, alright? I have zero interest in your special spot. Up we go. So this is Parham. It's much bigger than I thought. Whoa, so many tamers. This place is the real deal. Dang. Capital city of Peru. I like the building designs. They're pretty cool. Welcome to Peru, the 
ultimate passion of the human domain. Amid the chaos, violence, and decay that spreads throughout the world, Room stands tall and proud against all odds. Once you become a guild, become guild members, all your efforts and skills will be directed towards preserving this peace. Take a good look around. This is what you'll be fighting for from now on. That's the healing center. Who? Yep, we know about that. That's the general store. Cool. To the east is the airship hangar. Many tamers use it to reach the Drake Isles, the alleged birthplace of the dragons. Feel free to check it out sometime. It's quite the view. I love it that they're just going to let me go there. Citizens of Peru are especially kind towards guild members. If you have time to spare, pay them a visit. Civilians often have special jobs for tamers like you. To the west is the research district. Our scientists have spent a lifetime trying to unlock the full potential of Vernexamon so that we may survive. It may be newbies, but it's worth checking out. And finally, to the north, at the heart of the capital, lies the Tamer's Guild. There's so much to see, so much to do. We have to check out the Drake Isles. We could capture our very own dragon. I'm tired of hearing about dragons. Did you know we can synthesize cores which enhance our Nexomon in the research district? You are such a nerd. One step at a time, kids. Come with me to the guild. You'll receive your bronze badges as well as your first tamer job. Nothing's stopping us from wandering around the city. But I don't think there's much to do without a badge from the tamer's guild. We should go north as soon as possible. I don't care about any of that. You know what I care about? I care about the fact that there's some side quests here. And the Drake Isles over here. And... The fact there is pizza right next to me. I'm not going to find this hangar anytime soon. I mean, I might if I knew exactly where to look. But this place is a little bigger than I was expecting it would be. Maybe this is it. This feels kind of airshipy. Or someone's housey. I don't know. One way or another, I got food to eat and I am very hungry.